Welcome to the Original Gangsters podcast, another quick hitter edition going back up to the Great White North. Uh, part of our weekly reporting on um, just the chaos that's been going on uh, up there. Obviously, it's been about 15 years of this, but, you know, there's ebbs and flows, and this has been a, a particularly volatile year or so. Uh, so I want to report on what's going on within the Montreal street gang scene, and we know... Uh, from the last couple of months, uh, end of 2023, it looks like uh, Atna, Anna Atna, a.k.a. Tupac, uh, has been anointed the godfather of the Montreal street gang scene, allegedly by Marty Robert, uh, after, according to my sources, uh, taking the contract, carrying out the contract uh, to kill Greg Woolley, Picasso Woolley, the legendary you know, Canadian gangland diplomat. Uh, tied to the highest levels of the Rizzuto mob, highest levels of the Hells Angels. And uh, as the relationship between the Hells Angels and Rizzuto mob frayed, uh, he was caught in the middle of it. Last week, uh, Tupac's organization was hit with uh, some arrests, particularly the little brother of his one of his reputed top lieutenants. and their uh, place of business was raided. And this is one of the really major money makers. I'm told for both uh, the Tupac crew and the hell's angels. It's, it's the car theft, chop shop business, stolen parts. Uh, and it's, it's transnational. So uh, we talked about in the last couple of weeks, Tupac's you know, alleged car theft, Lieutenant Ali Shaban, AK ice cube, uh, headquarters out of the Cube Express. Cube Express was raided this week, and uh, Ice Cube's brother, Mohammed Shaban, 25 year old uh, reputed lieutenant in the Tupac uh, Atna organization, was arrested. Uh, Ali Shaban uh, has not been arrested um, nor publicly implicated. He survived an assassination attempt last month. Uh, in Laval, his G-Wagon got uh, riddled with bullets and he was able to uh, get out of the uh, passenger. Uh, he went from the driver's seat to the passenger seat, got out the passenger door, uh, was uh, only wounded in the arm. A couple days later or about a week later, his restaurant was shot up. Uh, they actually arrested a assailant in, in the second attack. But, uh, you know, they're, you know, it's like follow the money. Well, uh, between the Hells Angels and you know the, the street gang contingent that they're aligned with right now, uh, the Atna group, they're making tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars. Not them themselves, but they work. But the the network that they're involved in is uh, in moving stolen cars to and from uh, Canada, the United States, Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. And talking to my sources in the SQ, uh, they believe that the epicenter of that racket in Canada on the Canadian end of this is is through Cube Express. And Cube Express, you know, uh, at least on the surface, is a, uh, a, a car storage lot kind of specifies or, or is per particular into the you know import export uh business legally um and there's you know a legal legal activity going on there we know but according to the government in canada there's also illegal activity and i'm told that that particular car lot is known as a a cool down spot for uh vehicles that are going to be shipped uh, overseas and vehicles that are coming in from overseas and that Ali Shaban, AK ice cube um, spearheads the whole thing. Again, he was not indicted, but his brother was and cube express was raided. You know, we'll see what the ripple effects of this are. Uh, even though we're reporting that the war in Quebec city uh, between Rizzuto mob allies, the blood family mafia and Quebec City chapter of Hell's Angels, which has been kind of a, uh, a war that was mirroring what was going on in Montreal. That war is now officially done, um, at least on the Canadian home front. BFM boss uh, Ice Pick Trammell is still 
a marked man, what I'm told, and and uh, being hunted in Europe right now by Hell's Angels and Atna's guys. But uh, the Quebec City violence has stopped. What's happening in Europe is happening in Europe. But in terms of the Hell's Angels, Marty Robert, and the war with the Rizzuto mob, uh, that has not stopped. Um, it might, you know, again, you have ebbs and flows, starts and stops. But uh, pedal to the metal if you're the Hells Angels right now, or what I'm told, in terms of their desire and uh, doing everything they can to absorb uh, drug, uh, extortion, and gambling rackets from the Rizzuto mob. And, and Leonardo Rizzuto right now, who uh, has, I'm told, empowered a lot of street gangs to kind of be his muscle on the street. Well, BFM is gone. So... Uh, but in terms of Atna and, and his connection to the Chabans, you know, that, that's a, I'm told again, allegedly big money source. And when you're at war, you need a, a war chest and, um, you know, you, you chip away at, at the crown. And in terms of guys on the street right now, uh, Atna is the top guy replacing Greg Woolley and they're going after his top guys. So, uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it for what, what's going on there and the fallout from this, but, uh, you know, far from over OG pod, Scott Bernstein out. Mm -hmm.